Today I'm going to play on Shuffle.com. I deposited $60, with a 100% deposit bonus, plus 35x rollover requirement. This is my first time playing with such kind of bonus and rollover requirements. But worst case scenario, I'll lose 60 bucks at most, definitely affordable to me. If you also want to try out Shuffle.com with this bonus, you can check out the description. Make sure to double check the terms and conditions, and play responsibly. First 30 minutes of the session wasn't recorded since I was playing on my phone. Then I accidentally quit the game during a bonus round, and I'm unable to continue that round on my phone and the game pretty much just stuck there, so I had to switch to my laptop. Well, let's skip the boring part and jump right into the bonus. This game's base game is pretty close to non-existent. It's better than those money cart games which have no base game at all. I'm not going to buy any re-rolls, it's something in between a regular spin and bonus buy. And when there's an ongoing rollover, I'm not allowed to do any bonus buy, but I guess those scatter boost or bonus hunt are still accepted. So if those re-rolls counts as a form of bonus buy and I clicked it, then I might break their rules and I'll be pretty much screwed when trying to withdraw my winnings. Despite I deposited 60 USDC, I prefer to play with Euro. I actually rarely play with US dollars as display currency. At the moment of play, 1 Euro is equal to 1.1 US dollar. Those two bounce back on the bottom are huge. They replaces 2.0.1x with a bounce back, allowing a chance of getting a bigger win with that ball, as well as hitting the bumper more often than usual. This is another example how powerful those bounce back can be. 18 balls isn't a good beginning, but with enough bounce back, you can get a pretty decent result. If you're planning to do as many re-rolls as possible, then getting more scatters might be what you want. Otherwise, I'd prefer fewer scatters with a bigger number on them.
When editing this video, it turns out the video length is longer than I expected, so some less exciting bonus rounds is edited to 300% speed, such as this one. It took me over 100 spins to trigger this one, but it only paid 4x. Well that's some unexpected surprises, two 100x from 15 balls.
So, how about my progress on that 35 times rollover so far? Not even 10%? Well, it makes sense. This is like 45 cent per spin in US dollar, so I need almost 10,000 spins, or like 10 hours. This one needs to be played at original speed, so that you have an idea if everything goes wrong. 12 balls is the minimum you can get, and all of them end up at either 0.1x, or 0.5x. In case you didn't notice, my bet is doubled, on the bottom right corner. Let's go big or go home. It's 11 p.m., and I want a result before 1 a.m. Either I lose my entire balance, or I completed the rollover and attempt to withdraw my winnings. I'm fine with both results, but I need to get the result. Let's play something else. I'm going to choose my favorite provider, No Limit City, and I choose to play DJ Psycho this time. This is also my first time doing one euro base bet, on No Limit City games. Usually I'd already withdraw my winnings when it hit 300 euro. Here's the deal, if I don't complete the rollover, then I get nothing. If I fail the rollover challenge, then I also get nothing. Guess that's a decent excuse for me to do those one euro bets. As usual, let's skip to the bonus round, if I can hit any of those. Here we go, that's 9G spins. I lost more than 100 euro before hitting this, and it's not very likely it would pay over 100 euro, so we might need another one or two more bonus after this. Every color have reached 5x, and it's upgraded to Psycho Spin. With 9 spins remaining, this looks promising to me.
Fun fact, they actually allow me to use games with lower house edge and volatility to cheese through wagering requirement. The contribution to the wagering requirement is based on house edge, so those remaining 83% suddenly becomes over 300% if I choose to play those games with 1% edge. But I'm not going to play slots at an even higher bet. Then I spent some time doing Limbo and Plinko. I played a total of almost 2000 rounds, since there's 10 US dollar bet limit per round when there's an ongoing rollover. At one point, I'm down to 190 euro and I'm ready to get screwed and walk away with nothing. But later I got really really lucky on Plinko. Finally, the rollover is completed, and I have 700 euro in my balance. I attempted to request withdrawal. It takes like half an hour to get approved, because they don't want people to use multiple account to abuse the welcome bonus. But eventually I did get my winnings. Slots are still fun to me for sure, but those Limbo and Plinko experience aren't that fun. In terms of experience, this is the most thrilling session I've played. And after trying out those bonus that comes with wagering requirements attached to it, I'm not interested in playing with those kinds of bonus again in the future, unless that offer is really good.